And a good Samaritan tells West Chu thoughts of his own grandmother flashed through his mind when he saw a purse snatcher assaulting a 76 year old woman. This is security video of the attack yesterday afternoon outside the Winn Dixie on University and Goldenrod. West Chu's Bob Keeling is there live. Bob, you spoke with a man who came to the rescue. Yeah, that's right, Meredith. And it happened all in broad daylight right here in front of the store, not too far from UCF. Meanwhile, the man who came to the rescue said that uh, he saw her being assaulted. Then he and two other men responded like a police tactical squad. What if that was my grandmother? Navy veteran Kendrick Taylor was headed to the gym when he saw 76 year old Rosemary Carlton being attacked. We showed him surveillance video of the incident for the first time. She was screaming for help. And that's when I went over to help her. Like a commando, Taylor ran straight at him, never considering the danger. When I looked down, I didn't know if he had a knife or a gun, but I just, I just saw the lady. She was so old, and when he threw her down, she was so fragile, and I knew she needed help. The attacker ran away from Taylor and two others giving chase. The video captures the chaos of the suspect trying to get away, Taylor in pursuit, finally taking him down hard in front of the grocery store. When I got my hands on them, I just uh, apprehended them and, and I told some uh, local people to call the police. And so the, they got here and I kept them down. I also signed a violation of probation on you before I came into court this morning. In court, the suspect, 23 year old John Desjardins, who was already on probation, was charged with attempted robbery and battery on a person over 65. He definitely should face some type of jail time. He has to know what he did was very wrong. Now, Carlton suffered only cuts and bruises, not seriously injured, but is definitely traumatized. And tonight, her niece tells us the family is so thankful for Taylor and the other people who came to her rescue. Reporting live in East Orange County, Bob Keeling, West 2 News on CW18.